Uh, hello, everyone. It's Liam from the podcast here, and we have Alex here as well. Hello. Um, once again, another week of my tech issues. Uh, I was an idiot and didn't back up my work, so my hard drive failed. But I th- we think we can salvage Little Creek and the rest of that, but I need a few more days to do that. So for this week, instead of having an episode of our regular podcast, what Alex and I are going to do is run through Heinrich's Call of Cthulhu Guide to Character Creation, which is very exciting. Um, it's a very, very cool guide that you can purchase on DriveThruRPG. Um, we'll put a link to it in the description of the podcast. And basically what it is, is how many tables did I work out it was, Alex? 147, is that right? 147 tables. 147 dice rolling tables to come up with a very, very unique character, um, which is very cool. Uh, you don't necessarily need to use it all the time. We don't do it all the time. But it, if, if you do have the time and you just want to have a play around, um, you can come up with some really weird and interesting characters. So what we're going to do is just going to... I'm, I'm going to be little little GM Liam, and we're going to create a character for Alex and see what we get. Sounds good. All right. So when you get this product, if you buy it, you also get uh, a... F- uh, a couple of character creator sheets that you can download. Um, and basically they just help you generate uh, the character alongside the normal character sheet. So we're going to kick off. First thing is we're going to work out what country you're from, Alex. Yep. Um, so you're going to roll a D100. All right, D100. Come on, Australia. 37. 37. Yep. Is... Uh, you'll be somewhere in Central Asia. Now, what we're gonna oh, do, no. what we're gonna do is, you for each of these questions, I'm gonna let you have one re-roll <laughs> if you want. Um, I'm gonna re-roll this right. one. Just yeah, I don't think I think if I try to do an East Asian accent, it would come out very badly. Um, fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Yeah. How do you feel about a African? accent <laughs> oh that's even worse <laughs> maybe all right well i guess i'll go with africa i'm, I'm from africa now well we're, we're not recording a scenario this you don't have to come up with the accent <laughs> all right that's fine all right so within africa we can now work out where in africa you're from so roll a d8 mm-hmm. d8 sure Let's grab a d8 all right it's an eight an eight you're from south yes. africa South Africa. Oh, perfect. I'm from South Africa. South Africa. How's it? Now, we can, there's another table here to drill down further. Uh, so there's mm. a few countries down in the south towards Africa, or I'll just let you pick South yeah. Africa if you want. But there's also a chance to roll 2d6 to work out which country in the southern tip of Africa you're from. Oh, which country in the... Oh, okay. So we're talking not not the country yeah, of South you Africa, could be from south Bots- of Africa. You could, yeah, you could be from Botswana for all we know. Um. How many? What is it? One d six. Two d six. Two d six. Let's go. Let's do it. Two d six. Uh, it's a four. Malawi. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Malawi. It's me. Do you even know where Malawi. that is? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's in the south of Africa. Now, um, it's. I think it borders. Does it border on South Africa? Uh, I'm not sure. We could look that just up. Just go. Uh, now, do you want to re-roll quick. your country, or do you want to just go with that? No, I'll, be, look, I'll just go with Malawi. That's fine. Uh, uh, it's in East Africa. Don't lie. Where is oh, it? Oh, okay. All oh, right. Yeah, no, it's it's um, it's actually it borders on Mozambique. Oh. Didn't realize this is going to be a geography podcast. No, there we go. We, Malawi borders right, on Mozambique. Do you want to stick with Malawi or do you want to roll up a different one? Uh, hang on. They have pretty good food in Malawi, so I might just stick with Malawi. Okay. All right, yeah. we'll go over Malawi now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, now we're going to work out your ancestry, so roll a D8. A D8. Uh, two. Two. Uh, so you're native to your country of origin. So you're from Malawi. Makes sense. There I'm from go. Malawi, yes. There you go. And now yep. we'll work out your social status, D12. Okay, D12. All right, now I think... As a white person in Malawi, I feel like I'd be somewhat rich. Oh, that's a 12. Do you know anything about Malawi? I don't. Um, I'm about to find out. 
I'm sure. We're going to do some Googling, um, are we? I'm going to do some Googling. Anyway, I've got a 12. Uh, nobility. You were born to nobility. Oh, yes. You roll high, low to determine whether you inherited a title or not. So what that means in this guide is you pick any dice. If you get the higher half of the dice, you roll high. If you get the oh, lower okay. half of the dice, you roll half. So just, just pick any D6 dice. Then, eh? D6. Uh, it's a five. I got high. So high. Uh, yep. So you did inherit a title. Yep. Uh... I'll just see if Malawi has a king. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, basically, choose, choose a title. Oh, they have a. Oh, they have a president. They have a president. All right. The official language of Malawi is English, so technically, I can speak Malawi. That's fine. Okay. All right. So basically, cool. you, you can choose to have a, a, a title of some sort, whether it's oh, okay, yeah, prince or lord, lord or lord. Yeah. Do, do they have lords in Malawi? Um. Well, I mean, I, it sounds to me like Malawi was a um, part of the British Empire at one yeah, point. Yeah. So maybe you can say that you're, uh, um, you inherited like a very noble. Maybe your ancestry yeah. was like the the. The keepers of Malawi yeah. for the British Empire or whatever it is. Yeah. All right. Yep, yeah, that works. There you go. Okay. You happy with that? Happy with that. All right. We'll move on to your place of birth, D100. Mm-hmm. D100. Now, as a lord in Malawi, I feel like I would have done pretty well for myself. Uh, 45. 45 is yeah. in a hospital. Um, well, makes sense. Ro- 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 roll, roll a d12 to determine what type of hospital. Okay. This is how nitty nitty gritty this guide can get. Uh, that's a one. It's a one. So a medical yeah. hospital, very oh, very course. standard. We, we can't have every of, result yeah. be weird, can we? My my father was a lord, and of course he he gave birth to me in a hospital. He would expect nothing. Your father less. gave birth to you in the hospital. Well, my mother gave birth to me in the hospital. That's, yes. <laughs> my father organized it. My mother was just, you know, she, she did all the hard work. My father was in charge of logistics. He just sat there and panicked. Um, yeah, that's right. All right. Now, this is where we get onto a bit of an interesting part. So for, throughout each stage of your life, you can have events. And this is where we sort of mm-hmm. shape how your character has become who they are. Um so the guide su- suggests the way you do this, um, or we can do a short version where you just roll one event per age. But if you want, the guide says you roll uh, 1d3 minus 1, and that tells you how many events you have at each stage of your life. So what do Sounds you want good. to do? Do you want to do that? Oh, let's do let's do the 1d3 right. minus 1. Yeah, that so like do fun. that, 1d3 minus 1. All right. I'm just going to roll a d6 and halve it. Okay, oh, that's just a 1. I had a very boring childhood. <laughs> just, just a 1? So no, no childhood events. Nah, we'll give you one. All right, give me one. We'll give you one. All right, D100, yeah. go. All right. Uh, this was a very boring childhood in Malawi. Uh, 92. Oh, this is going to be spicy. Yeah, what would you say about boring? <laughs> 92. Generally, the higher the number, the more weirder it gets. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you were born with a strange ability. Roll on table seventeen H pre preternatural powers. Okay. Uh, so what I'm right. gonna do is scroll all the way down to table seventeen H. Um and we're gonna see what strange ability you have. There's nothing okay. weird there's nothing weird about the earth, is there? About the earth. It's not about the world, nah. you know, it's all very nah, natural. Nah. Alright, D yeah, twenty right. it is. D twenty, okay. D twenty. Uh, uh, that's a two. Psychometry, ability to learn an object's history by touching it. Oh, that's cool. That's okay. We're, we're definitely using that in an actual scenario for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, this guy is going to be in a scenario now. This, this, has is, to be. this is definitely happening. Okay. I, I will ability... find any scenario to put your this character into. Has the ability to uh, touch an object and learn that object's history. And learn its history. That's actually pretty oh, cool. cool. I like that one. That's a good one. Oh man! I mean, it could get. I reckon it could get dicey. You know, like if you yeah, sort of touch um, a sock, yeah. and you're like, oh you, god. You could definitely learn lose ten sanity just by touching something. Um, oh, keen. All right. All right. So that's your birth event that you have. Yep. You have this weird psychometry ability. Okay. All right. 
And then we move on to the next stage of your life, your childhood. Mm. We see how mm. what sort of childhood you had. So mm. roll a d20 to see what family mm. structure you grew up in. Okay. Well, I am a I'm a lord, mm. so uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Two parents. You were raised by two parents. Oh. Now, th- this hey. can be your birth parents, adoptive parents, step parents, whatever you want to, whatever you think yeah. suits your character. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is go roll his distinguishing feature for each of your parents. Okay. Uh, so do you want mo- mother or father first? Uh, let's go. Let's go with dear mummy. Dear mum. Roll a d20. See dear what mummy was d20. like. What was mummy like? Oh, it's coming back to me. Well, I've dropped the dice on the floor. Uh, it was a 12. A 12. Mummy is... Yes. Mummy is... Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, a bre- okay. breach of trust. Your relationship with this person. So your relationship oh. with your mother is defined yeah. by a breach of trust that they committed. They might have been leaving oh. the family, running away, unfaithful to their spouse, taking advantage of you, mm. abusing you, something along oh, yeah. those lines. What do you? Mother, what? mother tried to defect to Madagascar. Oh no, uh, she did not like Malawi much at all. And no, sorry, not Madagascar, Mozambique. Oh, that's. She tried to defect to Mozambique. Uh, she was sick of the British Empire. She wanted to go, but she wanted to go for the French, and we did not like that. <laughs> mother. All right, well, let's see what your father thought about it. D20, go. D20, let's go. Uh, Four. Uh, Your father was mostly identified by a close connection with a craft, hobby, or unusual skill. So we're going to go and see what your father's favourite hobby is. Okay, cool. So roll a D100. D100, all right. Okay, oh, it's a four. A four. Yeah. Uh, collecting. Roll a D6 to work out what he collected. Oh, no. What were you collecting, Father? <laughs> um, that's a one. Weapons. He was collecting weapons. <laughs> How, do you, are you happy with that one or okay. do you want to go again? No, this is fine. So my dad is a Malawi warlord. Yep. Uh, <laughs> He's got 20. And my mother left, left him. To go uh, to the French, to go to Mozambique, but betray, yeah, betrayed the family. And he, All right, so we, we, your father's probably got a wall of about thirty different shaped like yeah. knives and swords and all that. Knives sort of. and swords and yeah, little guns and shit. Yeah. All right. um, so what that means is, uh, if you're making this character, you could put down as a treasured possession one of your father's like weapons. Oh, okay. Which is treasured possession, which in the Call of Cthulhu game is very useful. <laughs> My father. Uh, my father's favourite um, sword cane. Yes, that works. A sword cane. Yeah, I have a sword cane. <laughs> Lovely. This is it's collected it. This is going. This is going well cane. so far. This is going, this well. going great. Yeah, I'm having a great time. All right. All right. Uh, now we go back to see more about your childhood. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. How many siblings have you got? D twenty. Go. Oh boy. Um, hopefully not twenty. Hey, uh, twelve. You have two siblings. Ro- okay. Roll D three yep. to determine what order of birth you are. So whether you're firstborn, youngest, or middle child. Okay. Um, uh, that is two. So, so you'll be the, the middle. middle child. Yeah. Okay. You'll be the middle child. Yep. Makes sense. All right. Now we do the same about childhood events. So you can roll a D three to work out how many character-defining events happened in your childhood. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a three. A three. So you get three. Yep. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have a crazy character for you, aren't we? Oh my god! All right, Dang. D one hundred. Let's do it. Let's see what. All right. Let's see what shenanigans you got up to as a child. Uh, Fifty five. Fifty five. Uh, significant people. A person in your life, possibly newly met, becomes important to you. Oh. oh so let's go find out who that is. Okay. So we go to chapter 11, significant people. Go D100, yep. and we'll see who... Uh... D100. Um, 70... Oh, sorry, 47. Uh, another hobbyist. Someone with... <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, okay, go, let's yep. go find out another hobby. that though. You, so maybe you made a friend doing a particular hobby. Um, okay, yeah. So D100 again. D100, all right. Uh... 
That's a 31. <laughs> this is just gunsmithing. <laughs> as, as a child. <laughs> Can you come up with a role-playing reason how that fits, please? Off you go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My uh, my father likes to collect weapons. Yep. I was fascinated with weapons mm -hmm. as a kid because, you know, my father, it's like, oh, they're pretty fun to play with, you know, playing with sharp sharp things as a child. That's totally fine. Um, and then, yeah, I probably, probably someone who worked for my father uh, was a gunsmith and I was taught the ways of gunsmithing mm -hmm. uh, by this person. Even as a young boy. And my boy. father, of course, was... As a young boy. And my, my father, of course, he approved because he's, oh, just you know, like father like son. You know, he probably collected some guns himself. I'm starting to get the sense that your mother defected because she was afraid of you and your father. <laughs> no, no. She defected because she had to go to... She was uh, she was uh, secretly French. She had to go... <laughs> Should have moved it to Mozambique. I think Mozambique was a French colony. I'm not I sure. All right. Let's go work oh. out your next childhood event. D100. All right. Say 100. Uh, 65. 65. Ooh, linguistics. You learned to speak a foreign language. Oh, excellent. Right, so we're going to go, we're gonna go back to the country of origin table to work out what okay. that one is. So D100. Yep. D100. Okay. Um, 17. Uh, that is a South American country. That's an interesting language that you oh, picked up. So can we can we re-roll that? Because I don't think it would make much sense. No. All right. You, yeah, South you can re-roll if you like. All right. Uh, uh, Eighty-eight. Uh, Southeast Asia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're stuck with that one. All right. No. Well, on. I'll give you one more if you want. All right. We'll do one more. One more. One more. We've got to pick from one of those three. Yeah. Uh oh, I was supposed to nice. come back. Twenty two. Uh back to South America again. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I'm, Which one do you want to drill down on? South America or Southeast Asia? South America, I think. South America. Alright, D twelve. D twelve, sure. Uh that's that one. That's that twelve. Uh nine. Nine. Mm. I don't even know what language they speak, but Suriname? Suriname? Suriname. Suriname. A good question. That I Portuguese? think that's also an English-speaking country. Is it? Yeah. Maybe go again. Go again. Uh, Literally any Oh, no, Dutch. It's Dutch. Dutch. You know how to speak Dutch. Yes. Oh, that, yeah, there's a lot of Dutch colonies in Africa as well. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, a lot of Dutch. Yeah, I mean, I, I speak English because I'm from Malawi mm -hmm. and I'm a, I'm a lord, but I've, I learned Dutch. You also picked up some Dutch. That's very good. Okay, cool. All right, one, one, more, one, more, one more childhood event. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. It's a D100, yeah? Uh, let's do a D100. Uh, 51. The circumstances under which you res oh, you discovered something, and the, the circumstances under which you discovered this is, well, that's what we're going to find out now. So roll a... D6. D6, okay. I discovered a thing. Four. Four. You discovered a, a, a treasured possession. Oh, okay. So let's go with a D10 to work out what that is. All right. That's my D10. Uh, that's a one. Probably a and, weapon. Uh, mundane items. So we go to the mundane items page, <laughs> which is <laughs> yep. D100. All right. What well, Monday item is? Um, ninety. Ninety. That sounds uh, not very yeah. mundane. Oh no! Here we go. A relic. Oh. Ooh. Roll on table thirty F. Ancient cultures. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. So this is, this is, does make a bit more sense because you discovered something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thirty F. I think that's a typo because thirty is names so okay <laughs> uh, let, let, let me find the actual Hang one on. ancient cult right. 31f there you go heinrich ah, more bit okay. of a typo you can fix up um yeah come on higher it came together <laughs> uh d20 d20 okay uh that's that one Oh, that's a 16 16 oh well this is getting more and more sense a west african yep. relic Oh, so I don't know. But pick, I'm in East Africa. What's going but on? Somehow, wow. but somehow you got a West African. 
Oh, really? What I feel, okay, it, it was a, a foreign dignitary came mm. to Malawi mm. uh, to visit my family, mm. and he gifted this to me. What, um, what is it, though? Weird, oh, I don't know. I, I don't you'd know have to West Google, African you'd have to Google what relics they sort of, yeah. All right, I'm just going to Google West African relic and see what comes up. It could be a, like a, like a idol type thing. Yeah, probably like a sculpture or a Oh, yeah, like a weird mask thing. Yeah, maybe a mask, something like yeah. that. Who knows what yeah. magical features it has. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Do you want anything else to happen in your childhood, or do you want to grow up a bit? Oh, Mo- uh, Mozambique, by the way, is actually a Portuguese territory. Ah, so yeah, she's defecting to the Portuguese. Yeah, well, I like Dutch. Yeah, she's, yeah she, hates, she hates the English, and she wants to move to Portugal. Okay. So that makes sense. Fair enough. How dare she? Anyway. All right. Do we want to grow up a little bit? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, adolescence. Let's work yeah. out if you have a, li- a religion. D- oh, D20. Okay. D20. Uh, uh, seven. Uh, a major world religion. D10. Makes Go. sense. D10. All right. Oh, oh lost dice again. No, it's rolling off the table, aren't they? Yep, that's an eight. Eight. You follow one of the major religions of your country of birth. So what would the main religion in Malawi be? Um, I'm going to say, like, some sort of Catholicism. Um, yeah, if it's a British territory. Some sort of Christianity, Malawi. Uh, what? I mean, if, if, main... you, if you went down the path of, uh, like, an indigenous Malawi person that would probably be something along those no, lines no i think if i'm if i'm a nobility mm. i'm probably white i'm probably like a member of like the british republic yeah it's probably uh, yeah catholic or something yeah um let's see yeah so like it was actually in uh yeah so it was it was definitely part of the british Republic in like the 1920s. Here we are. So. We're just playing. This is yeah. This is just a geography history lesson about Malawi. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, what's your Christian? Okay, religion. Oh yeah, 82 percent Christianity. They were definitely Christian. Probably Protestant. Okay. Cool. All yeah. right. Now let's work out how much you care about this religion. D. All right. Twelve. D. Twelve. Okay. Uh, uh, three. Casual. You keep your beliefs oh, yeah. private. You show no you show no outward expression of your views, and otherwise do not demonstrate any serious devotion. I'm far too busy like making guns, making to guns do and to shit. Do with, yeah, making guns and weapons to, to have anything to do with religion. Mm. Yeah, All right, that makes sense. Let's work out what shenanigans you got up to as a teenager. Um, yep. D three. D three. Uh, that's another. That's another three. Oh, we're gonna. All right, D one hundred. Oh, this guy. This guy's had a he, life. He lived, lived a right. life. Lived a life. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's a 14. 14. Uh, you might want to re-roll because it says you have a religious yeah. experience. Oh, no. Okay. No. okay. And we'll we just worked out right. that you were casual. So. Uh, seven. Seven. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Uh, whether you are running from something, maybe a line, I don't know, or okay. simply running from the love Oh, simply running for the love of running. You spend your teenage years with the world rushing past you. Assign your highest remaining characteristic score to dexterity. So okay. what, what you can do your skill values two ways. There's the assigned values 40, uh, 50, mm. 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, and 80. Yep. Or you can do what we normally do and roll them up. But in the example yep. of this guide, they use those pre-assigned values. So assign the, oh, yeah. so assign the highest one, which would be 80 to dexterity. 80. Done. Okay, so yeah, he as a child he um had an encounter with a lion and he had to like run away from the lion mm. and he that's when he realized he was good at running. He's good at running. Now yeah. roll a D four to see what potential career this could lead you to. Okay, uh D four. Mm. That's my D four. There it is. Uh that's a one. An athlete. <laughs> makes sense. Okay. All right. That so makes sense. so All put right. in your potential occupations athlete. Okay. And let's have patience. another event. D100. All right, D100. Mm-hmm. I don't know where potential occupation is on the sheet, so I'm just going to write athlete, question mark. Yeah. Um, 90. 
90. Yep. Oh, I've got to scroll a fair way down for that. Normally it gets pretty weird down in the 90s. Um, yep, I bet. A reward for worthy deeds. You come across a stranger beset by some ghastly creature. Your intervention mm-hmm. distracts the entity and allows the individual to, to, to escape. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Uh, table 17F, Mythos Creatures, to learn what you think the creature was. Oh, oh okay. All right. So whenever we use you for, whenever we use this character for a scenario, you already know about Mythos shit. Um, oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh, 17F. Uh, a D12, please. D12. All right. Where's my D12? There it is. Uh, seven. Uh, a deep one. So I don't know how much you know about deep ones in the oh, okay. Cthulhu Mythos. They're, yeah. they're like the, uh, yeah. uh, the, the they live in the ocean. They're, yeah. You know, they're very, very fishy. Um, right. We, we, um, we might need to re-roll because Malawi is famously a landlocked country. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, they do they do come with the land, the deep ones, I think. But, do they? Okay. Um, All the way to Malawi. But have, re-roll we had another to, one if you want. We would have had to go through Mozambique. Uh, it's, probably, it's probably my mum, to be mm. fair. Um, all right, we're all D12. Uh, that's a seven. Did I you, yeah, roll deep, seven? deep one again. Uh, all right, it's definitely a deep one. Definitely okay. a deep one. You, you might have traveled to the ocean at some point. Um, Malawi does have a lake. Maybe it was a city maybe it's lake. a deep one that's stuck in the lake. Yeah, and he keeps okay. and he keeps coming out to try and get someone to help him <laughs> to get to the ocean. Go, go, go back to the ocean, please. <laughs> oh, fuck off! You're a big fish. Yeah. All right. All right so let me go back to read the rest of that event. Yep. Um So you, it was a. You think it was a deep one weird creature? Yep. Um, it's probably just a, a wet lion. To be fair. And the person that help, that you helped escape from the deep one um, extends you an invitation for when you come of age. Oh. oh. Okay. So basically that means you might be contacted by a secret government agent in your future. Oh, am I Will Smith's character from Men in Black? Could be. <laughs> Could be. So I I outran a deep one. Like I've I'm used to like running away from lions. I outran a deep one, mm-hmm. and then someone's seen that and go, "That guy. I want that guy to be part of my group." Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. That's that's interesting. We're moving on. Okay. Next one. Uh, D one hundred. D one hundred. All right. It's a. Oh, 96. Oh, you, you just don't want a boring life, do you? No, this guy's, this oh. guy's rich Are you ready? story. Are you ready? Go on. A yep. night to remember. You have a love oh. interest. <gasps> oh. Refer to cha- chapter 23, fertility ritual. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 23. Rich- oh. Okay. Uh... Okay, when you go to table 32A special event and refer to fertility ritual. Oh, oh, what's okay. going on here? It's not just a night right. to remember. It's something bizarre. <laughs> a night I'd rather forget. All right. You are... Are you ready for this? Yeah. You are invited by a love interest to a remote location, discovering only oh. too late that you are to participate in a facility ritual. Oh. Make a power roll. We don't have a power skill yet. Uh, no, I don't. On a success, you fight off the strange influences and are able to escape, though you are deeply affected by the experience. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm not meant to tell you that. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> cho- 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 choose a value and assign it as your power skill, and we'll go from there. Okay. I'm going to make my power 70, I All think. right. Make a power roll. No reason. No reason why. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Power roll. Hey, you. Oh, it's a 95. I was always going to fail that. On a fail, you succumb to the strange powers of this place. You do not remember yeah. all that transpires during the night of dark ritualistic yeah. orgies. But when you, do, when you depart, you and your love interest do so with a newly adopted child. <gasps> oh, my father's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Refer to number 20 in table 5E children. You may choose to remain in a relationship with this love interest or abandon them. Oh, I kind of want to abandon them. Okay, well, I think I have to. Well, I'm, a, I'm a noble. I can't be out having unprotected sex well, in the love. Hang on, That's let's a terrible go, idea. Let's go see what happened with this child of yours. 
Okay. All right. Uh, you have a so somehow you with this ritualistic orgy you you've adopted the child, but something about them is strange. Roll a d four. Oh. Okay. Two. Two. Child, the child is believed to be a harbinger, incarnation, or avatar of an eldritch being. Oh, uh, no. Do you want to <laughs> run away with this new family of yours or abandon them? I'm abandoning them. Absolutely <laughs> not. Get away from me, All you right. creeps. All right, you abandoned I just them. Wanted to, I just wanted to some, some, I want to make out with a beautiful lady, you know, I've got a bloody eldritch <laughs> being as a child. No way. Daddy, that's, get rid of them. That's definitely not going to haunt, haunt you in any future scenario. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. It's, I cannot see any All right, your, your adolescence was a mess. Let's grow up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, adulthood. Let's that's learn about your with, schooling throughout all this. That's the problem with spoiled children, right? There's like nobles. They, they just do dumb get things. Get involved in too much. All right, yeah, let's learn right. about your schooling. Yep. D20. What Sorry. D20. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what dice am I rolling? All right. D20. Uh, that's a two. Uh, no higher education. Either by choice or circumstance, you have not pursued oh. a higher education. You may, assign, you may assign your lowest remaining characteristic value to education. I'm going to re-roll this because I feel like as a as a noble of Malawi, I would have had a better education than okay. nothing. At least, like at least something, of... you think. Yeah, that's right. right. Thirteen. There we 13. go. Now it's all university. Yeah. You attended. Ah, yeah. You attended. You attended traditional college or university. That Roll makes sense. on five B educational events. So D one hundred. D one hundred. Thirty eight. A part time job. You require a part time oh. job. Roll a D twelve. Oh. Of course, Daddy wouldn't make me. Daddy would make me work for my money. Um, seven. Uh, a laborer. Oh, okay. Do you want to roll again? Can I? Yeah, let's re-roll. Yeah. I don't think my character would want to be a laborer. Yeah. D12, yeah? Uh, 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 11. 11. <laughs> a reporter. Oh, okay. All right. You pick up a part-time job as a reporter. As a reporter. Oh, do you, okay. How do you yeah, feel about that, that one? Sense. I think I mean I guess it sounds better than <laughs> laborer as a no as a noble of if you the want British Empire. I mean you've rolled thirty eight as your part time job so you are allowed to just pick one from the list if you want do you want me to read them out yeah go on all right zookeeper mm-hmm. animal trainer no clerk Maybe. student intern in the library nah waitress waiter oh absolutely absolutely not secretary no laborer I think. Book, think book, reporter. book dealer or antique dealer? No, I think... I Undertaker? Think reporter, <laughs> Undertaker? No, I don't want to take All right, reporter? No. Yeah. I honestly think reporter, like, I'm thinking, would my character want to serve people when he's spent his whole life, like, basically being super privileged, right? He's a mm. noble. His dad is... His yeah, dad's Matt, yeah as reporter's very sort of independent, hey? Report, yeah, reporter sounds independent. All right. Yeah, so, so what you can do is you can write down photography, art, yep. uh, art craft photography, or psychology yep. as a non-occupational skill. So you know when we create a character, we spend those extra yep. points on other skills. Yeah, yeah. So you can yep. tick them as one of those ones that you put extra points into. All right. So cool. photography or be... psychology. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna high low and see which one comes up. Mm. Uh, okay, it's a low. I'm gonna be a photographer. Cool. Alrighty, but back to your university days. Yep. Roll a d four twice. Okay. Uh, that's uh, four. Uh, don't add them together. Just roll it twice. Oh, uh, one, in, one in three. One in three. So yeah. we're going to give you uh, a possible occupation from the intellectual occupations and a possible occupations mm-hmm. from law occupations. So these are two more occupations you can choose from. Um, yeah. Let's go uh, D8. Mm-hmm. D8? Okay. Uh, it's a seven. Uh, a professor? Okay. And then go D6. D6. Five. A judge. 
Oh, I want to be a judge. You want to be a judge? Yes. All right. Yes. So I'm put down judge. professor and judge as your possible occupations when you become an adult. Yeah. Right, we'll go out. We'll go back and see what else happened in your your days. Yep. Uh, we need to move on, I think, to professional career. All right. Okay. So out of the possible occupations, whether that's reporter, judge, athlete, uh, yep. The other ones, pick, pick, pick one of the op- occupations that you. Oh, want to judge! Do. You want to go with judge? Absolutely, judge. Yeah. All sure. right. So this is where you'd go to the normal rule book, not this uh, Heinrich's guide. You'd go to the normal yep. rule book or investigator uh, thing, and you'd find what skills are associated with judge. I don't have yep. that up at the moment, but I could probably look something up. Hang on a second. Uh... Uh... Yeah, it is in here. Okay. Uh... Okay. I'm just scroll past hobo. <laughs> uh, all right, so the skills for judge are yep. history. Okay. Intimidate. Yep. Law. Hang on, history. I'm just going to intimidate. Law, yep. Library use. Mm-hmm. Listen. Mm-hmm. Your own language. Yep. Persuade. Yep. And psychology. Okay. Um, so, again, you can do the normal thing where you, you know, w- calculate your skill points and spend them, or you can assign the predetermined values to those skills. Mm. So yep. so there's 340s, 350s, 260s, and 70 that you can divvy up amongst those skills. Yep. All right. Uh, so I guess I, I would probably go... As a judge, I feel like library use would be quite up there. Probably law um, would be the most. Actually, no, law would be up there. Sorry, yeah, law yeah. would be right up there. Library use could be probably next highest, 70. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, we'd probably go... Depends how scary you want to be. Do you want to be intimidating? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably like you an and, evil judge. Yeah, you and your gunsmithing childhood. Yeah, yeah. 60 for intimidate, that works. Um, and then... How many 60s do I get? Just the one or two? I think it was just the one. Hang on. Okay. Uh, oh, I've closed it. Idiot. It was uh, 340s, 350s, 260s, and 170. Oh, okay. Get rid of the 80 then. Um, so 70. 60 for library use. 60 for intimidate. And then 350s? Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just go psychology, persuade. And uh, history. Well, I mean, if what's if my education is going to be like higher than my English, do I just get the? Um, do I just get the English? Uh. Yeah. All right. All right, and then I'll go forty and listen. And English, I guess. But mm. if my education's higher than my English, then I just get the education, right? Is Pro- that right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, that makes sense. Just do that. All right, yep. let's work out what happens during your career as a judge. D100. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is a 19. 19. Mm-hmm. Uh, experience an event particular to your occupation. So, refer to occupation lists. Uh, okay. Uh, da, da, da. So, we need to do. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find the right one. All right, we need to work out a legal occupation event. So, a D6. D6, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you. It's a one. One, you're hardened. Your occupation helps develop your personality or your beliefs. Roll a D8 to learn how. Oh, okay. It's just, it's almost like real life. Um, <laughs> six. Six. You become devoted to your to your career. Oh, okay. Great judge. Fantastic You're judge. happy with that one or All you right. want to go again? Happy? No, I'm happy with that. Yep. Absolutely devoted to your career as a judge. <laughs> oh, love it. Good, good, good. All right, uh, now 
what we can do is work out some more events throughout your adulthood. But to do that, we need to know how old you are. You can either pick an age or you can roll an age. I'd, I want to roll an age, right. I think. So, yeah, just go a D100, and it needs to be between, well, now that you're a judge, probably more than, I don't know, 25. Yeah, I feel like take <laughs> well, Let's just roll and see what it yeah, is. Uh, 67. I feel like that's too old. Too old? You I'm going to re-roll one more time and okay. try and get under 67. I think, um, oh, seven's far too young. I, don't think, <laughs> I think seven's going to do it. Um, neither is 12. Fucking I think you're 67 or 60, whatever you were. Yeah, I rolled another 67. So, yeah, uh, you're, okay, you're 67. I'm a 67-year-old judge. Yeah. Oh, old man, okay. 67-year-old right. judge. But you still, yeah, yep. all the other stuff that's happening in your life is still important to you. Of course, of course, all right. yeah. All right, let's work out what family you have. D100. D100, all right. Uh, let's go, yeah. Now, we already that have the fact eight. that you abandoned this adopted child that you yes. acquired as a, as a teenager. We don't talk about that. We don't, yes. talk, we don't talk about correct. that. Yes, but what did you get yep. for your D100? I got a 64. Uh, one or more of your children grow... Uh, they grow up so fast. One or more of your children grow older, possibly attending u- university. To, uh, oh. roll, we're going to roll to work out what happens to your child. Okay. Do we, we we need to look at how many children you have first, I think. Did I skip a table? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, it was the next one down. All right, let's go. We'll do this one first. D20. Do you have any children? Do I have children? Well, right. you do. If I do, they get to go to university, just like I did with my father. 11. Uh, you have two children. Oh, of course. All so right. one of them goes to university. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go back and see what happens to them. Hopefully it's something weird and freaky. Yep. Uh, D100. All right. Uh, that's a 14. Your your child while at university found something in the boiler room of oh. the university. What they find? Table 32T. Yep. Boiler room <laughs> finds... D4. D4, okay. Uh, that's a four. Now, I'll, I'll read out what it is, but yeah. I do have an idea of how you could maybe change it. Sure. So it says, you, well, this is from the perspective of your child. They discover someone apparently held imprisoned. Oh. oh God. In the boiler okay. room of the university. <laughs> yep, okay. Do you want that to be... I don't, sure. I don't know. I what so. could that be for you? Um, I guess yeah, he's he's just found found some poor person that's been bullied to the point where like horribly bullied. Horribly bullied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to re-roll or use it? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm happy. With, I'm happy with that. It's fine. So maybe your yeah. child's like terrified because of this. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. Uh, let's go. All right, how old are you again? 67? 67. I'm an old man. So we're going to do four four adult events, one for each decade after your 20s. Okay. All right, so in your 20s, roll a D, D100. All right, uh, 50. 50. Uh, straight down the middle. How did you get here? You aren't sure how you ended up in the building's bo- boiler room, but when you... <laughs> <laughs> but, when you, <laughs> but when you enter, you find something most unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> what did I find in the boiler room? Oh, Let's God. find out again, D4. Maybe, D4. maybe your child found the exact same thing that you never told him. Yeah, anyone. that's creepy as fuck. Um, it's a two. Uh, I can't believe that's what you rolled. <laughs> uh this part of the building is devoid of life, but not of the dead. You encounter apparitions mm. attired in clothing from another time. The apparitions mm. avail themselves of your help, willingly or otherwise. So basically you found the haunted ghosts and apparitions in the boiler room. found a ghost in the boiler room. In the boiler room. And then my child... Maybe, yeah, we can change it from a prisoner. Later. Your child came and found the exact same thing. And... Yeah, okay, sure, that works. 
I think that makes sense. All right. And like you never told you never told anyone to one day. <laughs> I never told him. I never told him. And then That's, one day yeah. your child was like, "There was a ghost in the boiler room," and you're like, <gasps> and, he, and I was like, "Ooh, there's a really ghost in the boiler room. That's creepy as shit." Okay. All right. The, All that right. was your twenties. How about your thirties? Yep. D one hundred. See how many boiler rooms I can visit during my <laughs> lifetime. Twenty one. Uh, a boiler room? No. <laughs> Twenty one. Yeah. Uh, in your thirties, you focused on your family. Roll five oh, D nice. family events. Yep. Uh, D one hundred. Okay. Uh, Twenty. Uh, you have a memorable experience with your love interest. So we're going. To, oh, let's go work out what nice. that is. Okay. Okay. Uh, Found love at thirty. That's nice. Now, do we know who your love interest is? I don't know yet. Let's find out. D one hundred. All right. Let's see who the wife to your, your the mother to your children are. Hey, it doesn't have to be a wife. It could be. Sorry, I'll drop it. Drop another thing. It could be the first gay man in Malawi. Uh, forty eight. Forty eight. Mm. <laughs> Do you want to go again? Because this has come up as someone that you met doing a hobby again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, wait, roll. Um, or do you, or do you still or do you still love the the teenage or witchy girl that you? No, 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 no doing no. a hobby. You'd be the gunsmithing. Uh, what'd you say? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, a professional, an individual closely associated with your occupation. Oh, oh that makes sense. Hot lawyer. Uh, yeah, uh, so, yep. yep. So maybe you you met a lawyer. All right. Yep. Uh, let's go D one hundred to see what happened to your relationship. All right. Okay, uh, that's a 10. Mm, might not fit. It says unrequited love. Roll high low to determine which one of you doesn't love the other one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I feel like... I don't know, does it fit? No. I don't know. Right, we'll re-roll. We'll, well re-roll. Because didn't we roll... We one. Didn't we roll... No, you rolled that you had a memorable experience with your love interest, so we can skip that True. one. True. Didn't have to be the future. Yeah, okay. so let's um, skip that one. Sure. We'll go D100. We'll see what the memorable event was. Okay. Uh, 43. 43. Yep. The love interest helps you become a better person. Ah. Oh. That sounds great. So okay. maybe you were, you were starting on your path of becoming a warlord judge... Yeah, a really mean judge, and then she came around and was like, "No, you shouldn't. How about you don't give the death penalty out all the time?" And I'm like, "Oh, didn't think of that." Uh, Chu, we're going to roll traits three times, and you can choose one to have okay. your trait. So, yep. do one hundred. Do one hundred. All right. So this is the trait that you picked up during your thirties. Okay, uh, twenty-four. Trusting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go again. Yeah. Yep. Trusting. Okay. Or D one hundred. Or uh, ninety eight. Masochist. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go with trusting. Trusting. All right. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you were a mean judge at first, and your your lovely partner turned it oh, around for you. Softened me. Softened oh, that's you. Lovely. Okay. Uh, where were we up to? Uh, yeah. That was your 30s, so now we need to work out what happened in your 40s. Sure. D100. In my 40s. Uh, that is an 85. In your 40s, you went on an expedition. Oh, okay. You, yeah, cool. Uh, so we're going to go see what that was. You may be just the person for the job, or you were a last-minute hire. I feel like... I mean, it depends what the job yeah, is. Yeah, well, D4 to see where the expedition D4. went to. Okay. I don't know why they need a judge for an expedition. That is a two. Antarctica. You join an, exped oh, wow. an expedition to explore and traverse a great mountain range in Antarctica. Okay. Refer to table 26A, Antarctica. <laughs> Going to find out what happened in yeah. Antarctica, right? Now, this is a whole little mini game in itself. Ready? Stage one. Yeah. The journey. <laughs> <laughs> what happened but what happened on the trip to antarctica that's what we need to know mm. you will need to prepare the supplies for voyaging into the harsh antarctic environment provisions climbing equipment guides all must be in place mm. if you are to succeed make a regular yep. accounting appraise credit rating or survival role or hard intelligence yep. or education so at this point i think just assign the rest of the values to your other skills i think okay to my other skills mm. 
Um, all right. Well, I'm going with photography. Oh, and your um, character characteristics. I mean, like strengths, uh, education. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. All right. Well, in that case, uh, it's eighty. I feel like um, tell. Oh, education would have to be sixty because I'm a judge. Mm. Um, and then intelligence would be probably sixty as well. Um, appearance. I mean, I'm fifty, sixty-seven, so I might as well cop that. Um, appear, uh, uh, then we go with con is 50, size is 50, which means my strength will be 40. I'm not very strong. That right. makes sense. So All right. give me either a accounting, appraise, credit rating, survival, or hard intelligence or hard education role. Okay. All right. Well, my intelligence. Your credit so, rating so as what... a judge is between 50 and 80, by the way. Oh, Okay. Well, can I roll credit rating real yeah, quick? Yeah, pick, pick a pick a credit rating. <laughs> okay, just uh, say fifty and eighty. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, oh I'll just, I'll just use num- I'll use number generator. Fifty three. Fifty three. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll roll for credit rating. All right. Go for it. Oh. Oh yeah, eleven. That is a hard success. Okay. Uh. I bankrolled yep. the so you, you, you yeah you, you prepared for the journey well you brought enough provisions climbing equipment the right guides mm. etc mm-hmm. the destination the mountains of madness uh, you discover oh, okay. a series of mounds in the shadows of a mountain range rivaling the Himalayas mm-hmm. in height inside the mounds yeah. are the remnants of giant fungi each approximately eight foot tall with a barrel base oh. and long flat triangular tapering arms like starfish. To the expedition surprised, one of the things awakens. <gasps> Succeed at a power roll. Okay, my power is 70. It took all it took to bed my creepy son. Uh, that's a hard, oh, extreme success. Extreme success. Yep. Uh, uh, all right, Become so succeed. Uh, hang on. Succeeded power or take. Ah, so basically it means like this this giant fungi awakens and you're not frightened, like you're not driven mad oh, yeah. by it. Okay. Right. But this mysterious elder fungus does start to attack the the expedition. So either a go go for a dexterity roll. Okay. Well, dexterity is my highest trait, so mm-hmm. this should be fairly straightforward. Get- Oh, missed it by that much. That's an 84. That's a fail. So you get injured in this expedition. Oh, and we're going to no. find out how. Okay. All right. Uh, D20. All right. Uh, that's an 11. An 11. Yep. You injure one of your kidneys. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Going forward, you will need to consume far more water than average person. Oh, God. Okay. And likely Kidney always injury. have some on you. Okay. So you uh, always need that. to have access to water. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go see what happens to the rest of this expedition. All right. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, so you, you got too injured. You returned home with an injured, oh. injured kidney. Good thing Antarctica is mostly ice, am I right? So was that your 40s or your 50s? That was my 40s. All right, let's work out with your 50s. Okay. D100. Man, I'm thirsty now. Uh, 36. 36. You've got mail. You receive a letter blackened by soot. Okay. I reckon this might be the letter from the secret government agency guy that you... (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, mysterious letter you receive a strange correspondence possibly from an unknown author it references bizarre concepts and improbable futures um, mm. you have a mysterious letter your keeper may provide you with additional ah oh, so this is something that you could use during the scenario so basically you have like a little uh, one use ability where you can okay. ask the keeper for like more information about the the, the happenings of the scenario, pretty much. 
Okay. So basically, it's like a cheat code. <laughs> okay, I get a cheat code. You get All a right. cheat code. A mysterious letter. Mysterious letter. Um, yep. Okay. So basically, you have a cheat one cheat code for your scenario. All right. All right. Let's work out your sixties. All right. D one hundred. D one hundred. That was much more boring than the expedition to Antarctica. Um, that's a twenty-eight. I mean, you can roll your fifties again if you like. No, nah, that's fine. I don't want to die. <laughs> twenty-eight. Uh, go again. We've already had that one. Oh, have we? Okay. F- family uh, first. We've already done that okay. one. Fifty-nine. Uh, a location in your life becomes important. Roll oh. a D one hundred. D one hundred. Sixty-two. Somewhere you vacationed. Oh, oh, okay. Do you want to work out where? D100. All right. Uh, 82. <laughs> you love Southeast Asia, don't you? <laughs> D10? D10? D10. All right. Where in Southeast Asia did I go to? Let's find out. Uh, it's an eight. Burma. Burma. I wonder if Burma was also part of the British Empire. I think it might have been. I think it was. It, it did, was they have the, did they have the elephants? Maybe. What's Burma um, known for? Uh, it was Burma until 1989. So now it's Myanmar, by yeah, the way. Yeah, but this is the 1920s. Um, so it's yeah, Burma still. 1920s. What's the history of Burma in the 1920s? Fucking... We are... This is a history podcast now. Mm-hmm. Um... It was a pagan kingdom. We're learning all about... Oh, was it? Okay, uh, British Burma was 1885 to 1948, so it was a British oh, yeah. colony. Yeah, perfect. That makes sense. I was in checking out my fellow colonists. In and, Burma. and you just loved Burma, the jungle and everything. In it. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, so, yeah, I guess, in, in the yeah. scenario, I'd imagine you just being absolutely fascinated with your trip to Burma. Oh, I love Burma. Burma is lovely. Yes, yes. You know the crazy thing about Burma is it's just got lots and lots of elephants. Oh, love an elephant. Maybe, Very easy to run away from. I ma- maybe it was your retirement trip as a judge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I finally got to go to Burma. Much, much warmer than Antarctica, all right. let me tell you that. Ooh, okay. And uh, we've come to the end of all your adult roles. So yep. what we can do is, is there anything in your sheet that you haven't really filled out, like uh, description, traits? Yeah, I've only got one trait, and I've only haven't got any personal descriptions. Let's go personal description. All right, D twenty. D twenty. Okay. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Oh, sorry. Never mind. I rolled a D twelve. Let's try that one D20. more time. But rolling the correct dice. That was a oh nineteen. Uh, you're noted for the shade of your skin. Roll high low to determine whether you are very dark or very pale for your ethnicity. <laughs> yeah, let's go low. I think it makes more sense that I'm white. Very, very, very pale. You're like a ghost. Mainly because I'm also white, and I, I don't think I can pull off a. a no, it, it, mean, it, mean, it means for your um, like even though you're ca- Caucasian, you're very pale even for a Caucasian. Oh, okay. Noted for my very pale skin. You're like a ghost. Like a ghost. Okay. Um, yep. And anything else you want to roll up? Treasure possessions? Um, ide- so... Uh, ideology possessions. beliefs? Do you have an ideology belief? Uh, just, no, oh, yeah, really. you're, you're think... devoted to your law. Oh, devoted to law. Yeah, yes. That's right. Yes. Devoted to the law. Okay. And my significant person was probably... Um, well, your, was fa- the... your family plus, plus your father... For, my father and the gunsmith who would collect weapons and the the gunsmith and and probably and also this mystery adopted child that you abandoned as a teenager no 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 that's the, <laughs> we don't talk about that <laughs> gunsmith I'll put that in though gunsmith um, mystery child that I certainly did not adopt because they were weird Always talking in tongues about, you know, the black goat of the thousand woods or something. Mm. Now. A thousand dark young. All we have left to really do is choo- yep. choose a name. 
Okay. Do you want to roll a name or do you want to pick a name that suits your judge? Oh, your I think we roll a name. All we've right. Got, we've gotten so far. We've got D100, okay. Uh, that is a 69. Nice. Your name is Nelson. Oh, of course it and is Nelson. And D100 again for a surname. Okay. Come on. Let's go something double-barreled. Uh, 65. Nelson Pippin. Pippin? Pippin. 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 Do you want to go again on the surname? <laughs> yeah, we'll go again on the surname. Maybe yeah. you can double barrel it. Uh, 33. Uh, nah, go again. You won't like that one. It won't. Okay. It doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh... Roll to 33 again. Give oh, it to me. Okay, it's Fursk. F-I-R-S-K-E. Fursk. N- Nelson Pepin Fursk. Nelson Pepin Fursk. Yep. That works That makes sense. All right. We, we've pretty much gone through everything. So yep. let's let's basically do a, a dummy you introducing your character as if we're starting a scenario. <laughs> sure. Hello, everyone. It's me, Nelson Pepin Fursk. I have been a proud judge now for the last 40 years. I've only just retired, and uh, I finally got to see Burma. Uh, I have incredibly pale skin. Uh, people can see right through me. I'm a very trusting person. Uh, I am devoted to the law. I believe that uh, justice is the most important thing in my life. Uh, I, because I'm old, I carry around a cane. Um, it helps me move. Um, it's my father's prized possession. It's a sword cane. Um, I also have a mysterious letter from a from an organization in Malawi, uh, which allows me to. Um, <laughs> I, I know a little bit about what's happening. Uh, however, I'm a little thirsty. I'm a, I'm always thirsty. You see, I I um, injured a kidney uh, while uh, having a bit of an incident in Antarctica. Uh, I've travelled a lot. Um, and I, I need to drink lots and lots of water and he, he's drinking all the way through. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, yes. And that is me. I'm Nelson Pepinfersk, Judge Pepinfersk to you. Also with you, mystery child. Uh, no, we don't mention the mystery <laughs> child, <laughs> but yes, I have a mystery child. I don't know where he is or what his name is or what they're doing, but I don't want anything to do with him. Creepy. Creepy thing that happened when I was a kid. I, I, Regret it immensely. I will definitely write them into a scenario. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely But will. anyway, that's an example of using Heinrich's Call of Cthulhu character creating guide thingy. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you can get down a very deep rabbit hole and create something like that, or you can just make a normal, boring private investigator who's done nothing throughout their life, depending what you roll yeah. or how much you want to yep. play around with it. Um yeah, it's pretty good. There's a lot of tables in there. Um, I I've used it a few times just to uh, just roll up, see what happens, just for funsies, and you can get some interesting combinations. I think the fact that you kept rolling bo- bo- boiler room was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, that's right. Yeah, there was a, a boiler room incident. My son also had a boiler room incident. I feel like this boiler room is important to my my backstory. Yes, you saw um, you saw also, ghosts in there, didn't you? My mother. We were, yeah, that's right. My mother left. Uh, our family to go to Mozambique. <laughs> Did you mention the, the the warlord gunsmithing days? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You did, you did. Uh, All right. And now I became a, a judge, an evil judge, very probably corrupt. Let's be honest. It's Malawi, um, Mozambique. Uh, my father hated him, the hate, and I hated her for this. I probably have a very low view on women. All right. Cool. Do you reckon you'd use that character in the scenario? 100% I would, yes. All right, we'll see where we can fit them in. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's that's the guide. That's how you do it. it what, took us about an hour, I guess. We were obviously yep. having fun with it. Um, yeah, as I said, there's 147 tables in there. Uh, Mr. Heinrich Moore has done a very good job at uh, just making a very like a unique mm. format of how to come up with a character because sometimes like when we're short-noticed, it's like, well, uh, I'll just be a normal, boring, fancy British guy again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, what did you think? I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've also played around with it before, and 
yeah, you get some real weird combinations pop up. I think I think the tricky part is balancing Mm. accepting a result for the fun of it and re rolling because if you get too yeah, if you get too if you if you roll up too many weird things, it can get a bit away from you. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. like what the hell is happening? Um, For sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, as we said, you can find it on Drive Through RPG. I'll put the link in the description for this podcast. We might do another one another day where Alex runs it for me and we'll see what we come up with and how they can both fit yeah. in the same scenario together. Um, All right. Sounds good. Sounds like a fun time. All right. Well, what was that your... was a pleasure. Th- thank you, Nelson Peppenfersk. Nelson Peppenfersk. Uh, we'll see you on the on the dash table. At some Indeed, point. you will. Yes, I have. Yes, and you won't see my child, which I don't have. <laughs> All right, and yeah. ver- very much. Hopefully, we're back with the next episode of Little Creek next week. Okay, nice. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, my hard drive is okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, boy. Thanks for listening. Bye.